from their incredible sea bass. Well, that same quality they bring to these large, dry sea scallops, three pounds of them. And look at this value here, $99.92, a really good price. Four easy payments of $24.98, free shipping and handling. You want a high-end meal? You want to send summer out with the bang at your Labor Day uh, celebration? Serve these. This lovely young lady is a seafood expert. She is a food blocker, blogger, <laughs> blocker, <laughs> blogger, and she is the national brand ambassador for Australis. We welcome Nicole Gaffney. Hey, How Dan. are you, Nicole? I'm great. Good to see you, my friend. Always a pleasure to be here. I love scallops. I could eat them all day. Now, but these are called dry scallops. Mm -hmm. First of all, what do you mean by that? So there's dry scallops and then there's wet scallops. So okay. there's a couple important things to note about the dry scallops and what the difference is between the two of those. The wet scallops are soaked into a solution of, it's called sodium tripolyphosphate. Ooh. Anything with anything uh, that sounds like that can't be good. Exactly. For you, there's right? too many syllables in there yes. to be safe. But right. what that does is it absorbs into the scallops and that gives them kind of an off flavor. It doesn't have that really sweet flavor when you when you bite into them like you're gonna get with the dry scallops. Uh -huh. It also makes them leach out water when you go to cook them. Oh. So I'm gonna well, show you plus here. Plus that's like shooting it with full of preservatives, right? So exactly. these haven't been, these are dry. Yep, it's a chemical okay. preservative. See how we have that nice golden brown crust on that. the outside? Yeah, that's You can beautiful. never get that with a wet scallop. Oh, because really? Because when you put it in the pan, it's gonna leach out all of that liquid. Okay. They're gonna steam, they're gonna wind up overcooking it's going to be a waste of your money okay this is the real deal well, these I'm scallops gonna, come right out of the ocean let me just do my little food testing job here these are wild caught they're, they're large too they are these um, are large scallops they're mm. one size below jumbo which is the biggest you can get oh and they're just like a scallop should be mm -hmm. so tasty melt in your mouth mmm they're so Delicious. sweet. You, you can tell yeah. they have all of that natural sugar in there. That's what yeah. caramelizes on the outside and what makes scallops taste so delectable. Sometimes with scallops, you have to load them up with butter. Kind of disguise the taste, not these. You don't have they to at all. Tasty. I did mm. in this case because I like to mm -hmm. play with a little bit of butter and show you how yeah. you can sauce them up like this. Oh, They're so, so easy good. to cook. They Give come us in an a big idea. bag. So you're yep. just doing a little saute in there in the pan, right? Just saute them. All you have to okay. do is defrost them. They come individually quick frozen, so okay. they're all just like this in the bag. You can cook two at a time, one at a time. You can cook the whole bag. There's three pounds to each uh, order. Yeah. And you just saute them up really quickly. Now, Scallops can I just, cook so fast. And, and I could just pull out like you said a few at a time if I want to don't have exactly. to do all three pounds exactly that's a big serving you're getting a, a lot of scallops, of scallops Look at is this. a lot yeah they're so and, rich and especially these because they're the large scallops now I notice you've got some breading on these in front mm -hmm. of me how did you do that just a simple uh, standard breading procedure, a little flour, egg, and breadcrumb. You can okay. either deep fry them or you can drizzle a little oil over top and bake them in the oven. They come out fabulous. I like that option yeah. too. Gives you a little, a little just, healthier yeah. that way for Let sure. Me, uh, Mm. I love scallops because they're so rich and decadent and mm. taste really kind of fancy and, and they're, they're actually a very lean protein. I like so, to take my time yeah. with scallop and just really enjoy it because it's a, it's a special event when you mm -hmm. serve scallops. It's not your everyday meal, right? They're not, really but they absolutely elevant. can be. Yeah, they could be. Wow. Scallops, Australis, they come, where do they come from? What ocean? So these are wild caught from the Atlantic Ocean right in New England. I mean, New okay. England is sort of Why like is the important? capital of scallops. Yeah. It's important because you know you're getting the real deal. Mm. There's actually a weird thing out there with uh, seafood adulteration where you're mm -hmm. actually not even getting the real thing. So you could go to a restaurant or to a mm. supermarket and get something that's not even actually a scallop. These are tasty. These are the real deal. We don't have a ton of these to go around. They yes. are a food award nominee. The easy payments go away. At the end of the day, here we go. Uh, mm. Pull out as many of these as you want. And scallops are a good source of protein, aren't they? They're an excellent source of lean protein. Like I was trying to say lean before. Lean protein. Is, yeah, exactly. So I could be lean. a lean, mean machine if you I You already eat these. are, Dan. Oh, you're so, she knows how to get up my goods. You are good. You <laughs> oh, are really please. good. <laughs> I try. But yeah, I, said, I mean, they poor do Poor Nicole, taste. she didn't have any shoulders on this shirt today. <laughs> The cold shoulders, but I would no. never give you the cold shoulder. No, never. Okay, so give us some ideas um, of how to serve these. You Definitely can see your these main... ones we've grilled. So we have Labor Day just around the corner. Oh. I'm wearing my white, as you can yes. see, to get it in before Labor Day hits. Oh, they're okay. great on the grill. You can yeah. either, I mean, they're so big, they're not going to fall through the grates. So mm -hmm. that's the great thing. You can grill them up just like that's that. That's the great thing. I get it. Yeah. 200 of these have all been ordered. That's a yeah, <laughs> up bing. Uh, these are going quickly. We don't have a lot of these. We don't. But honestly, when we offer three pounds of the scallops in, <laughs> in the past, they've been well over $100.
This is a very good deal at a feature price. What are Absolutely. you going to put on there now? This is just a little bit of pesto that we're doing oh. over the top. It's so bright mm. and summery. The basil's in season right it now. Is. Fresh tomatoes are in season. So I love wow. to take advantage of all of that. You really do but know about food, <laughs> don't you? Hi, I'm a chef and a recipe developer. This is what I do. Wow, and a blogger. Absolutely. They're great with ambassador. just a little squeeze of lemon. Mm. So, so tasty. I mean, do you taste how sweet those mm -hmm. are? If you had the wet scallops, you would get a completely different flavor, a completely different texture. I love a great scallop, but if they're not great, <laughs> I've had some that just don't taste right. These taste right. You probably right. had These the are... wet scallops. Mm, that's and it's what important it is. to note too, because they're absorbing all of that liquid from the sodium tripolyphosphate, you're paying more for yeah. for water essentially. So, so with dry scallops, so they have to be fresher, right? How do they Absolutely. lock in the freshness? As soon as these uh, come out of the water, they're blast frozen. Blast frozen right away. They're not right sitting away. on that's, a boat. They're not sitting in. in a grocery store. I mean, yeah. these are fresher than what you would get out of a seafood market because they're not sitting out on ice. You don't know how yeah. long they've been there. Wow. Hey, mm -hmm. half of our quantity has just been ordered. 300 of these gone. Uh, large dry scallops, a 2017 award winner. M55327. Um, Nicole is with Australis, and, and we think of their sea bass, which is incredible. Mm -hmm. We've offered it here. Everyone loves now, their sea bass. Now, I got to tell you, though, they bring us great scallops, dry scallops, so important. Um, so I, fun it, for a Labor Day barbecue, too. You yeah. have your hamburgers and hot dogs, but it's so nice to serve a little bit of seafood. You know, mm -hmm. you always have those pescatarians in the crowd, people who don't want to eat meat. But they want something that's a little bit more festive and special, and that's exactly mm -hmm. what these are. Yeah, I like to hang around pescatarians. They're all right. <laughs> they get a little pesky at times. They can be too, pesky. They can be pesky. So picky. But as long as they're a tarian, they're, that's good. <laughs> good with me. As long as uh, they have some scallops, they'll be happy. <laughs> But really, think about your Labor Day. This is your last chance for Labor Day. Or think about a football party, maybe. Got some uh, big football ahead. My Michigan Wolverines open this Saturday. I'm so excited. Are you a football fan? College football. Yeah, LSU. me too. Go I Tigers. Love college. LSU, okay. <laughs> a Southern My girl. alma mater. Really? Yes. They let you out of there? You graduated from there? With Believe honors, I'm not. sure. Not. And I'm then sure actually, we used honest. to bring these to, uh, to tailgate with. Mm. We used to bring scallops and wrap them in bacon. That's yeah. a great way to serve these. Wow. A little horseradish sauce on the side. Good. Makes so an tasty. awesome appetizer. Yeah. They're that, really good over pasta. Mm. There's so many different things you can do with wow. them. Very versatile, very, very, very easy to prepare. Here's an update. We started with 700 of these. Right There's only the 200 remaining. Just 200 remaining. Oh, that looks good. Oh, I don't mind if I do. So Thank simple. You. Yeah. So good. Exactly. Thank you. Thanks, Dan. You did a great job. Always a pleasure working uh, with nice. you. Always a pleasure working with you. Stay on the line for M55327-9992. But uh, Sharon, I think it's time for a top find. Oh, Dan Wheeler. You know, I kind of have to say, top finds are very important products on any given day. It's something that we like to bring attention to, to call them out to you because they're special for one reason or another. These five pounds of barbecue seasoned roasted wings have sold out the last two times they were presented and the last time we had them on the air was June. So people have been enjoying them all summer, but we haven't been able to get enough in for a separate airing all summer long. So as we cap off our Labor Day celebrations here at the end of summer, you get a choice. Do you want to go for the bourbon bar? Barbecue, and I'm just yep. going to step to the Come side on. of you, my dear. You already loving the bourbon. That already was the most limited. It will continue <laughs> to be the most limited. Or you can go for the smoky yep. barbecue, which you see here. This is bourbon. This is smoky. One, two, three, four, five pounds of barbecue seasoned roasted wings and they're a customer choice nominee this year for best appetizer. So grab your three easy payments and maybe even lock them into auto delivery. While I introduce you to Jimmy Stovall who brings delicious Corky's food to QVC. He is the general manager of Corky's in Memphis, Tennessee. Yep. Okay, so folks that know Corky's know what you're about and they know the deal. For uh -huh. someone that's saying, okay, Memphis is like a cool place for barbecue. Right. What makes this true Southern barbecue wings? You know what, to me right now in the barbecue world, it's all about that rub, Sharon. And so what we've done with these roasted wings is we have rubbed them with two different choices of the rub, the barbecue mm -hmm. rub. It's the bourbon or the sweet and smoky. And when, you, when we roast them and that seasoning gets on there,